Hold on. I'm getting a call. This is Andrew. This is Aiden Ross and talking to Hassan. Hello? Okay. All right. Talk to me. How are you feeling? I mean, I'm obviously upset, man. You want me to fucking say, oh, everything's so beautiful with flowers and roses? Wait, why? You're upset because what? Andrew Tate is in jail. Well, yeah. I, look, listen, bro. I, like, I, why be upset about this if he actually did the thing? This is where it gets, like, out of control. I will tell you this, Hassan. I'll tell you this. Mm -hmm. it, my thing is this, right? And, uh... I, we just oh, you know I'm live, right? By the way, I'm just making sure. Oh, okay. We okay. just gotta wait till everything unfolds, bro. I can't say anything about it until everything's unfolding. Like, I don't want to say something, and then if something is the way it is, then it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to like you, make a st statement. But you, you made a YouTube video saying, well, you made two YouTube videos. One saying uh, Donald Trump should be president so that he could like yeah. pardon. Trump 2024. Trump 2024. Okay, okay, okay. Say Question it, for don't you. Say it. Question for you. How do you think that works? Do you think that like, you think that Donald Trump has the capacity to like pardon yes. someone in? Romanian prison, like a British person in Romanian yes. prison? How does yes, that work? Yes, I do. How, how well, no, obviously, Aiden's just being a fucking idiot right now. How does that work? Because, how did they get, um, Brittany? Well, Brittany Geiner is an American citizen, so that wasn't a pardon, that was a prisoner swap. Oh, it's different. Well, I guess Andrew Tate, uh, is, Bro, the, okay. is Andrew Tate an American citizen still? I know he's from, like, Gary, Indiana, or whatever, but I think he's British, right? Oh, so it's different? Yeah. So that's technically not a pardon, then, huh? Okay. Definitely not a pardon, so that's number one. And number two, I don't even know why anyone would actually try to get Andrew Tate out of prison in general. Because I do think, I mean, I, I believe the allegations, but mostly because, like, I believe Andrew Tate when he said it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> I wonder what he's exactly referring to. Because I, I, I know Andrew Tate... Again, put on his website originally, and he removed this after people called it out. He said he would get women to fall in love with him and then have them do webcam stuff. And just saying that is very suspicious, just the way that you say something like that. It's a little bit sussy. Um, there's a lot of red flags with Andrew Tate. There's a tremendous amount of them. To any point where, like, stay away from this person. This is why I'm really confused. This is why the news is really scary. I saw a tweet in a post that said, Andrew Tate, and the police said this, Andrew Tate is... Currently getting basically charged trying for money laundering. It's not for uh, no. You saw Rap TV who deleted that tweet. That was there's no evidence of that. <laughs> oh, that. So that that was basically false fake news. That was fake news. You got fake news by Rap TV. Wow. Who would have thought that Rap TV wouldn't be a credible source of information? Look, like I said, here's my thing. This is why you gotta watch me instead of Rap TV, dog. Oh yeah, maybe I should just take over to Hassan streams. Wait, what are we gonna play basketball, bro? Okay, well, where, where are you coming to LA? We can do that whenever you want. Yes, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be back in LA literally next week. I'm just gonna go spend New Year's and then I'll come literally in LA. You need, and, a, you, uh, need better, you need better positive male role models in your life, Aiden. That's very true. I'm actually agreeing with Hassan quite a bit here. Okay. It's incredible how Andrew Tate has created a nice sphere. Um, like, it's, like, it's like the enemy of my enemy is my friend, you know? I mean, Andrew Tate is just such a bad example of a man that like this is what happens we're talking about a man who advocates for men to cheat uh who glorifies people like genghis khan who raped people who uh defends the taliban's decision by saying women to, to remove the women uh, women's ability to go to university by saying oh well if women are so strong they should just fight for back rather than like understanding that everybody should have uh, like you know equal opportunity in our society this is a bad part this is not a real man this is somebody who thinks that bullying is a, like an epic poggers moment <clears throat> right as i say before andrew tate's a great man He's financially rich. He's physically strong. But morally, he's a fucking cesspool of shit, piss, and garbage that will never make a particularly good husband or father. It's just a reality. Um, that's it, man. It's unfortunate. And even if he does, he's not teaching young men to be good men. That's really what it comes down to, bro. And it's fucking crazy. It's just the reality. He's not teaching young men to be good men. Like, good fathers that are committed to their wives, that don't cheat, that do their best to provide, and also set positive boundaries to make sure that the person that they are with respects them as much as they respect that person. I have beautiful people around me. Uh, you do, but like you also look up to Andrew Tate a little bit. And a I, lot of that it. Hurts my Listen, this is the thing that, make, that makes me, kind of grinds my gears. As XQC Griffin. wanted me to tell you that he scored two baskets. That's true. I, I got XUC out on the court. Who? And he, XUC. Felix is, Felix is hooping? I, yeah, I got him to hoop a little bit, and he he made oh two buckets gosh. from the three. I mean, he's better than you probably. Like, if I train him, I've watched you play a little bit. If I train him for like a month, I think he's... That sounds been pretty bass as of late when we cover him. Yeah, actually, to be absolutely honest with you, um, 
I think I noticed it like maybe less than a month ago where Hassan has like done like this very it seems like he's made this very like moral shift uh, or like he has a set of parameters he's operating with, which is like it, it, it's definitely uh, having a positive impact on my perception of him because he's like not as angry or hateful. Um, he doesn't seem to like hate farm as much. He's usually a little more calm, cool and collected. Um, he's just kind of chilling. And like he's still inserting himself into stuff and covering things, but he doesn't do it in like this fucking insane way. I guess he's just a less angry person. Maybe that's what it is, you know. So he and he seems motivated to like climb. I guess the optics of it, you'd say, part of it is. So you know, what I have to say, I hate to admit it, but I've been, I've been generating some respect for Hassan lately. I'm just gonna be honest with you, you know. Um. You find he's annoying and he's still the same. I don't know, man. I, I, you know, I look at things and like I compare them to like my journey as a content creator and like the past three years that I've had and trying to build and trying to act correctly and do the right thing and trying to like kind of shut out a lot of the noise yelling at you and trying to like figure out what's best for you. And a lot of this happened when I watched like Ben Shapiro. I mean, it's multiple things, but I watched Ben Shapiro talk to Lex Friedman and there was just like this such, there was so many different things I could identify with and relate to. Um, you know, about like, you know, receiving criticism from the right people instead of just like listening to the crowd screaming at you. Because even if there's things to criticize you on, um, it doesn't mean that that criticism is proportionate. And so like sometimes that means like when you do make a mistake, you can't like be like, guys, I'm so sorry. You sometimes have to take a step back and go like, mm, what do I think? Let me just move forward. Because in the real world, making a mistake, people don't get shit on relentlessly for making mistakes. In the real world, people are like mad at you. You don't even really apologize a lot of times. And you kind of just move forward and you just act better moving forward. <clears throat> and um, yeah, you know, I've been identifying some of that, the calm, cool collectiveness of it all. Um, demons in my house. So yeah, man, I don't know. I can I can respect it. <laughs> you know, I can respect the uh, the change. I think it's definitely like two. I think I lost two. I but think listen, he can cook you if I, I, I train him. I think we remember our bet. You remember our bet, right? What is our bet? Come on, ask your chat. You don't remember what we bet? I don't remember. What was it? I, I forgot what it was. Honestly, too. They they probably remember. Ask what was what it, chat? What was our bet? We bet on one on one or something like that, and loser. Has with the Gideon thing, they could be explained by uh, Hassan being good friends with Pokemon and Gideon's re reputation as a troll before his racist town. But it, maybe my thing is, is like that happened and it's not happening anymore. It's not like the, the like this is the thing in like the real world, people do things and then you move forward and then you just see how they continue to act. Like we don't always need like an explicit apology for everything. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean that I agree with what happened, but like it's a really weird online thing to hyper focus on everybody's past mistakes because that is like weird cancel culture. Everybody engages in it. It's like, oh, this thing happened. Yeah, but remember when somebody did this thing three years ago? You know, and I get it because like you could look at somebody and like, you're like, well, do you still feel the same way about this thing? I get it. Um, but at the end of the day, some of these things just kind of like it's time to move on. You know, if somebody says like three years ago that they love beating up babies, it's it's reasonable for you to be like, do you still beat up babies? You know, um, but this is obviously not as severe. You know what I mean? Some shit happened, and it seems like Hassan's making like a, a marked change in the way that he interacts. So to do a punishment. Well, I think you have to vote for uh, Trump. I don't think I said that, but I'm. I mean, I'd do it anyway because yeah, there's no fucking shot that that's happening. I will never lose. Up, I met somebody you went to school with out of my job. He was wearing your merch. I was so surprised. Love you very much. I love you too. I don't want to know specifics, but like, what type of job was it? Can you tell me like a type of job, like a mechanic or like a sales boat salesman, a salesman? <laughs> um. Hey, listen. Are you really gonna? Sh you sh you better not fucking shave your head, bro. What are you? Are you in a cult? What is this? Like he's making you no, shave no, your I'm head. I'm shaving it. Yes, I am. No, don't do that. Yes. That motherfucker is bald, bro. You're not. It's not about stopping Andrew's. Um, it's not about that. No, it's it's about disciplining myself. What? D d discipline yourself in a different way. You don't. A cashier at a supermarket. Okay, interesting. Is it a guy or a girl? You have to fucking discipline yourself. It's by a privilege shaving. to have hair, bro. Oh, okay, and you have it. So what's the problem? You're right, but I'm not the best version of myself, so I don't deserve to have privileges. I have merch, not really. I have to like get my merch together. I have old merch on like like Teespring or something that I never promote. Um, but that's insane, bro. What are you talking well, not, about? 
No, I'm very grateful and I'm very blessed. Let me, let me, let me, let me go back. I think having hair is a very big privilege and it, and it gives people an ego feeling and it makes people more confident in themselves. Did so you people, hear this? Is this what Andrew's telling you behind the scenes? Like he's like telling no, you No, this is what I came up with actually. I, I feel really good because this is actually what I came up with. Okay. Okay. Well, don't break down his thing, I guess. Huh? Oh, so on. You realize I, I do disagree with Andrew a lot. Um, Says, right? and it's, it's, oh my I don't, I just like, even if he does go on, have, like, listen, if he actually disagrees with a lot of what Andrew says for Aiden Ross, then just have the balls to be explicit about what it is that you disagree with, because there's so many shitty things that Andrew Tate says. And you know this, because you've seen it. I know. I don't know how to agree with the guy on everything. You know I don't. So, yeah, but you still, you still hang out with him. You like him a lot. So bro, I'm like worried. He, he actually does preach some very, like, bro, the shit that he preaches himself. that's like good is literally go to the gym and like actually fucking, uh, but why you know, is nobody doing that? What do you mean? I say that every fucking day. I go to the gym every fucking day, okay. and I say it every you fucking day. That's not like a unique tape. That. You do. You do. That's on. And I don't have a sex trafficking charge. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> okay, true. You don't have well, to. Listen, wait till everything unfolds, bro. You, you know what I mean? We gotta wait till everything unfolds. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, here's a question I have for you. Like, what do you think happened? Like, honestly, you think like the Matrix got him? Like, how does that work? What, what do you think the Matrix is? Uh, how do you guys know when this goes live? Most people get notifications. I'm working on a Discord to do live notifications and YouTube. I'm where I'm I'm building my own Discord. I've never done it before myself. I'm on like a I'm on a spiritual journey this year. It's 2020 2023 now. And uh I blew up way too fast in like a, probably an undeserved way. And now I have to slowly get my shit together and learn things myself and go through like the trials and tribulations, you know what I mean? Movie? No, I mean like I mean like when when Andrew Tate says like, "Oh, I'm trying to get away from the Matrix, but the Matrix got me. That's why I'm arrested." Like, what do you what do you think the Matrix is saying? Mm. Maybe they're like, "No, dude, can I be honest though?" What? Trump 2020. <laughs> I'm kidding, bro. Relax. No, I don't. Care. Well, I want to hear the answer. Like when when Tate generates a conspiracy theory that the only reason he was arrested is because the Matrix got the Matrix got him. Like, what's Aiden's thought? Because what's Aiden's thought on that? Because I don't think it's unreasonable. Like, listen, when it comes to online stuff and people get like an allegation about something from just a random person, I understand being massively skeptical. And I also understand being skeptical when it comes to somebody like not getting like a, a charged yet or like he Andrew was arrested, but he hasn't been found guilty yet. But there's a difference between somebody saying a thing about you online versus like an actual legal like arrest for sex trafficking, you know, or rather, like, what is it, like, with two, like, kidnapping or something, or holding two people hostage or something like that, whatever it is. Um, these are two, like, very different things, you know, especially, again, in Romania, the country Andrew Tate moved to, I don't know why I'm counting, Andrew Tate moved to, and because, uh, for two reasons, one, because he could buy his way out of, like, you know, police interactions, this is what he said, and two, because he, it's me too movement isn't as prevalent, right, so, like, this is where I'm coming from, like, this guy is, it, it, Come on. I mean, I don't care about that. I mean, that's that's whatever. Uh, All right, would you rather vote for Kanye 2024 or Trump 2024? No, I'm not voting for either in that situation. Wait, Hassan, who's this guy named Sensenados who's also running, I think? What? Oh, you mean DeSantis? God. Who's that guy? Ron DeSantis is the governor of Florida. I'm hoping for Pete Buttigieg. Oh, oh shit, that's where I'm at right now. Is he, is he cool? No, he sucks. But he's also like a Trump dick rider. He, he copied Trump's steez. Like, he just wants to be like Trump. But he'll never be oh. as good as Trump. Okay, but going back, hold on. I wanna, I wanna know what you think. Like, why do you think he got arrested? Then you think like the Romanian police are fucking upset at him for being like a misogynist? Like, you think that's what's going on? Bro, I don't know. But one thing I've been, oh, I want to ask you a question. This is actually something you would know because I don't, I don't believe the fake news. Listen, it's not okay. Papa, if you create a Discord, it'd be a stereotypical Discord mod. It's funny because P I, I, I know that I look like one, and I, every time somebody says something about it, I just like laugh and like I LOL and I don't care. But like realistically speaking, I'm a six foot four. Like, I'm a big guy. I'm like three forty. I'm big, like broad guy. Um, I, like I don't, I, I don't really. When I go into public, I don't look like a Discord mod. I look like a fucking. I probably look racist. Like I rather look like a racist Southerner when I, <laughs> when I go out to eat. Like so, when you say I look like the typical Discord mod, like I am a nerd. But like my wife was shocked when she found that I was a nerd because I was like I, I I like I look like the guy who goes fishing. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I guess I will look like it to you guys. <clears throat> the only reason I look so is like short. Is because my chair is broken; it won't inflate up anymore. So, the pizza box is that true? No. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, they didn't well, catch him. They so they've been investigating him since April, since the first time they actually got the American uh, and and the British citizen, I believe, or like one uh, Moldovan woman out of his house. They actually started the investigation the first time they arrested him, and <laughs> and uh, the pizza box is not the reason why he got caught. He had posted about being in Romania already. 
uh, like literally on December 25th. Um, I thought maybe Damn. the pizza box was the like uh, was was basically proof that he had actually he was he was at home at that time. But no, that wasn't even the case. So um, it had nothing okay. to do with that. They were How does he know that? I'm just curious. I mean, I, I get why he would know the other stuff. But why does he know? Like, why doesn't he think that that had anything to do with it? We're investigating him. They they raided all of his compounds. Dude, I'm sick. Dude, this is the problem with social media, Tom. Just wow. fucking fake news. Okay, and but the I pizza box. The, but, I follow all these outlets. I see nothing but this. For example, someone I literally saw at 6 a.m. Andrew Tate's release. That's that's when I made a video. Oh yeah, my God, I know released. you got excited. You made a video. It was wrong. It was Dude. fake news. Okay, so why is that even a thing? Like, why is there fake news being? I don't understand. Wait, what do you mean? Everybody has a bias, and everybody has a perspective, and they want to fucking Hassan, they get excited just like you do. The you guy, the guy who broke my chair, me. I don't know what to tell you, bro. The chair has a weight limit that I have exceeded, and I'm surprised that it was working for as long as it was. Let's be real. I behind the Rap TV account uh, also did this with the Tory Lanez trial, okay? And and he's like notorious for it. All these outlets, like they have a bias and they hear something just like you did and they get excited just like you did and immediately go and fucking say, oh, he's out. You know what I mean? It's on. They want to they make money. They want to do clickbait. They want to get like engagement. And then they also are excited probably because of their own personal biases. Wait, when you text me 30 days, he's going to be out in 30 days? No, currently, okay, he was in a hold for 24 hours and then that hold was extended to uh, 30 days. It could be shorter than that if they actually successfully file an appeal Okay, but it seems like uh, he's assessed as like a flight risk or I don't know exactly what the Romanian uh, Romanian rules around this are. But if they consider him to be a flight risk or during the investigation uh, that they're conducting, they just think that he should still be uh, in jail for 30 days. Him and his brother both. Yeah. He does have a I mean, if you have a fucking if you have a private jet, I, I do always say you are a flight risk for sure. Yeah, true. If what? If you have a private jet, you are a bit of a flight risk for sure. Is what I said. I'm not flying private jet. Would, how is that? No. Oh my god! There's, there, dude, Aiden needs to like turn off the character sometimes. Like this is the problem when you become a content creator. Sometimes I think is that like you don't know where the fucking it starts and ends with your character. Like look at Trisha Paytas. You know she's insane. She doesn't know where she starts and ends. And now oh oh I don't fly a jet. You know what he's saying. Like Aiden knows what he's saying. He's playing dumb. It's like obnoxious. Oh, not you. I'm saying mm -hmm. he has a private jet. Doesn't oh, he? I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So like you can escape. Oh, is that how El Chapo? Chef for dinner? I don't know. My wife's making meatballs and spaghetti, spaghetti and meatballs. So. I don't know how El Chapo escaped. I think he dug a tunnel, if, if I'm remembering correctly. But El Chapo is in prison now. Got him. Also, he might have been. Yeah, I mean, he's been in prison, I think, right? Isn't he? Bro, I'm telling you, Hassan, we got to have a thing where I pull up to your house and, like, you. We have, we have like a whole classroom built out and you just teach me world history. I told you we were supposed to do that, but bro, just you're, tell me you're when too I'm busy there. fucking well, riding we'll, Andrew, we'll dude. That's why. Bro, we can... Um, and he's we can teaching you to be bald and do push-ups, which is not a bad thing. Yeah. You should do push-ups. Hey, I, I am going to be smoking a cigar in class. That is right. Incredible. Not good for you, okay? Push-ups are oh, good yeah, you for you. you have to be my teacher. Well, push-ups are good for you. Do, Cigars are not good for you. I don't want to do anything super naughty, uh, Mr. Obby. I don't want to hold me back from detention. Bro, I don't know how you... Okay, listen. You... You're too young for me, okay? I don't know how. I don't know how. I, I don't know oh, what I Andrew does. I don't know what Andrew uh, Tate does, but um, bro, he bro. Is not hey, listen, it's a red flag to date somebody that young. I get messing around with your little midlife crisis or whatever, Bob. But if you're like thirty something years old dating like nineteen, twenty year olds, like grow up. Honestly, it's crazy to me. Mm -hmm. either, but listen, I can Why do you have something in common with that person? I just don't understand that. Wait a few years for you, bro. Maybe I'm just too normal of a person. What? Bro, let's be honest, bro. You're one of the most handsome men there is. On, on the platform, to be honest. Thank you. Incredible. You know that, though. I know you know that. I, I don't. I don't think so, but thank you. But look, my brother with the Harry Potter glasses. I have to go. I have to pack. But I, I, I will text you when I'm in LA. We have to. Yo, so I'll text you about it later. But I have, I have this private gym we can go to too. It's indoors. It's perfect. Okay. All right. I'm down. All right, brother. Have a good one. All right. Peace. Okay. Uh, that was. Oops. My gain is a little too high. That was uh, Aiden Ross. Still too high. He didn't answer none of your questions. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll we'll All right. arrested. At least he's dude is getting arrested next week. Wait, what? What? No, I don't think I don't think Aiden Ross is getting arrested. He'd be funny if he wasn't such a dumbass. No, he's funny because of that reason. That's the whole purpose, bro. That's why he's entertaining. He just doesn't need to do all the bad shit, and he would still be entertaining. That was a that was a perfect example of of why it's funny and entertaining. I think a lot of you guys don't see that because uh, a lot of you don't understand that and, and you just see like all the bad shit because that's what I cover. And then why is Hassan trying to hang with Aiden if Aiden's hanging around with Tate? I think that his, uh, his argument or his logic would be to try to, I don't know, maybe de-radical. Well, I don't know if I can say de-radicalize, but 
You have Aiden shift his way away from Andrew Tate. Right, that's you go. Idea. Oh, he's bad. I don't understand why people like him or watch him. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, okay. I want Papa Gut to pee on my face. But just as a friend, there's nothing weird about that. I want him to pee on my face. 